Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And guys, what we're doing is we're bringing back an old series to the channel. Uh, we're gonna start doing up pixel art tutorials again uh, because I did do a shout out Sunday video on every Sunday, obviously. But they didn't seem to be getting as many comments as I like. I, I've I've run out of comments of people who wanted to really be in the videos, so it's kind of I don't I, I don't think there's anyone else I can really do. If you know what I mean, so I might as well do something practical that will actually benefit a wide range of people instead of just a certain person. Plus, I didn't have anyone to do, so it was kind of I don't didn't really want to just pick a random channel. So, guys, what I thought I might just test this again. If it doesn't go as well, then I may go back to shout out someday. But anyway, guys, we are going to keep this My voice. Just sound weird. I have just woken up recently, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, so. Anyway guys, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the materials you're going to need for this Instagram logo. You're going to need black wool, brown wool, sandstone, spruce wood, light grey wool, cyan wool, blue wool, light blue wool, grey wool, magenta wool, green wool, yellow wool and red wool. So if you want to kind of like pause the screen now and get your materials then feel free to do so. Uh, but anyway, if you've got them then let's carry on straight with the tutorial. So guys we're going to start off here on the left corner and we're going to start by placing one black and then we're going to go along to the right by another 19 black. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there you go, we've got 19 plus the one we started with. That'll give us a nice line of 20 black. So as I said guys, 20 black you should have in a row. If you want to recheck that, then feel free to pause the video at any point during this tutorial and double check it. So anyway, once we've done that, what we're gonna do is on top of that 20 black, we're gonna place 20 brown, so it's not too hard. So what you want to do is just using the brown. You just want to place that on top of every single black you've just placed down on the previous line like this and then guys once you've done that what you want to do is place a black at either side of the brown I'm gonna try go slower in these tutorials than I used to do I used to go quite slow but sometimes I did go a bit fast so I'm gonna try go a lot slower so there you go guys you've got two layers there and then for the next layer guys you want to come over to this black on the left hand side and you want to place up the brown with a brown to the right and then once you've done that you want to pull out your sandstone and you want to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 sandstone like that and it should bring you to one brown away from the end and then you want to place two brown like that so if you come back guys you should see you have two brown and then the rest sandstone. And then to finish off that layer, you just want to place a black coming out the end of the brown on each side. So there we go guys, now that's done, what we're going to do is we want to come over back to the next layer and we want to start on the left hand side where the black is, placing a black on top of there, then a brown, and then we want to place 20 sandstone all the way across. Uh, you reach to these two brown and black on the end here then you want to place again a brown and a black Ooh, like that you should have black brown 20 sandstone brown and a black then guys for the next one what you want to do is kind of repeat the same method but it's got a little bit of brown in the middle so you want to start by placing black again followed by brown followed by one two three four five six seven eight sandstone like this and then you want to place four brown wool and then another eight sandstone a brown and a black so there you go guys that is pretty much like one fourth of the way done on there so we're gonna get on to the next part now so guys the next part we're gonna place a black a brown and then we're gonna place 
seven sandstone. Oh, it actually says six, sorry. I messed up there. So it should be black, brown, six sandstone. Then, two brown. And then, four, ooh, four spruce wood. Two brown. And then another six sandstone. Brown. And a black. So there you go guys, as I said we should have black, brown, six sandstone, two brown, four spruce wood, two brown, six sandstone, a brown and a black. Now guys, for the next part we're going to place a black and a brown. We are going to get that black and brown repeated pretty much every, for quite a few layers. So once you've got them, you want to place again five sandstone, just like this, followed by a brown, a spruce wood a brown, four sandstone, a brown, a spruce wood, a brown, five sandstone, a brown and a black. So there you go guys for that layer. Then guys for the next layer what you want to do is you want to come back over here and you want to place woman, black, a brown, four sandstone, one brown, two spruce wood, Sandstone, four black, a sandstone, two spruce wood, a brown, four sandstone, a brown, and a black. So there you go, guys, for that. Now, what we're going to do is we want to count to the next layer. Uh, is again, we're going to place a black, oof, a black, bleh, a black, and a brown, four sandstone. A brown, I mean a spruce wood, sorry, after the four sandstone. A brown, a sandstone, two black. Now guys, we're going to place, get out your cyan, we're going to place two cyan. Then a blue. Then repeating the same thing backwards, basically, so we're going to place a black, a sandstone, a brown, a spruce wood, four sandstone brown and a black so there you go uh, also guys the, the the wood does have to be like this like facing like so this bits facing upwards so all you look at is the side then guys for the next part of the video we're going to place a black and a brown again four sandstone one more time a brown a sandstone one black one light blue wool four black, a blue wool, one black, one sandstone, one brown, and four sandstone, and then a brown and a black. So there you go guys, that's what that layer should look like there. So it should be black, brown, four sandstone, black, oh, I'm not even going to say that because it's, it's getting me confused. So guys, moving on to the next layer now, we're going to place uh, a black and a brown. Three sandstone, a brown, a sandstone, a black, a light blue wool, a blue wool, uh, five black, a blue, a black, a sandstone, a brown, three sandstone, a black, and a brown. So guys we are nearly halfway there now, so again guys what we're going to do is place a black and a brown, then five sandstone, a black, a light blue wool, a black, another black, then we're going to need out some magenta wool, and once you've got that you're going to place two magenta, and then to save time we're going to place one on top of that one there so it should be like a little L shape like this. We don't have to get it out next time, so we're going to put that back with a blue. And then, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to place two black again. A blue. A black. And then five sandstone. A brown. And a black. So there you go, guys. Then, the next part, what we want to do is come back over here again. We're going to place a black and a brown. Actually guys, we're going to repeat that step, so we're going to do another black and a brown on top of that, and then one more again. 
we should have three high of black and browns from the current layer we were on. So one, two, three high of both. Just to save it, save time. I'm going to come do it on the other side. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So guys, give me a second as well. I know it's getting quite dark. Uh, make sure there's no rain. Oh, I just made it rain by accident. There we go. So toggling downfall. So guys, now we've got that, as you can see. We're going to start here next to this brown and place five sandstone, a black, a light blue wool, two black, a blue wool, we've already got a magenta there, then we're going to place a black, two blue, a black, five sandstone, and there we go. So guys, for the next layer, we're going to place again five sandstone like this, followed by four black. Followed by two blue, a black, a light blue wool, a blue, a black, and five sandstone. Sorry guys, I did, uh, just totally knocked the microphone off the desk then. But anyway guys, as I said, we were placing down one sandstone here. So we come back to the left hand side and we'll restart that layer. So, as I said guys, we had the black and the brown, so now we're going to place one sandstone, four brown, one sandstone, three black, a blue, oh, a cyan, two blue, a black, and then six sandstone like that. Then uh, one black, two sa uh, brown, four light grey, a brown, a sandstone, a black, a light, why have I put light grey there? I swear that's not meant to be light grey. Something makes me think that's not meant to be light grey, but I'm going to go with it uh, and have a look. Uh, something makes me think that should be cyan, which I'll, I'll change it to cyan. Then guys, Next one we're going to place a light blue, then we're going to place two cyan, then a black, then a sandstone, a brown, five sandstone, a brown, and a black. Now we're moving into the more like different place where it's not all pretty much the same. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to place a black, a spruce wood, a brown, and we're going to miss out these red and colours for last. Then we're going to miss four spaces along and we're going to place a brown for this brown here, then a spruce wood, then a sandstone, then four black, a sandstone, a spruce wood, two brown, four, uh, I mean five, oh gosh, five spruce wood and a black. So there you go guys, then Coming back over here, we're going to place another black, another spruce wood, a brown, miss four spaces, then on top of this brown here we're going to place three brown going right, four sandstone, four brown, two black, a blue, a black, a spruce wood, and a black. Then guys, for the next layer again we're going to place black. Spruce wood, a brown, miss four spaces, then top this brown here we're going to go along with brown all the way till we reach just before the black here. So it should line up with this three brown here. Then guys once you've got that we're going to place two black, a cyan, then we're going to place a magenta, a spruce and a black. So it should look like something like this. So anyway guys, now for the next bit we're going to place another black, another spruce, another brown. And then we're going to do the same thing with the brown again all the way over till we're back to the black like this. Then we're going to place two black, magenta, black, spruce, oh gosh, and the black like that. Then we're going to place two black going up like this, actually we'll just place one here, then a spruce, just toggle downfall again, 
and then we're going to place a brown miss four spaces then we're going to on this brown again we're going to go all the way across to the one space from that black so we're going to leave a space where it's going to be let's see how much it is three six nine. i think it's ten so it should be one away from this black here like this then here we're going to pull out the gray and we're going to place one gray three black two spruce and a black like that so that's what it should look like then for the next layer what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here again and place one black followed by two spruce in this far spaces and again you want to bring the brown all the way over to where you brought it to last time one from the black and we're going to place two grey four spruce and a black then what we're going to do is we're going to then place, come in one, like this, so we're starting here, we're going to come in one, place one black, followed by a spruce, miss four spaces, and then we're going to bring spruce all the way along the top of the whole entire thing, like this, till we're one spruce from joining up with the end here, and we're going to place a black. Oh. Then, come back over to the left hand side guys, we're going to come in one, place a black on top of this spruce wood here, and then we're going to bring black all the way along the top, until we reach the end. And then again, like this. Now guys, for the final part, we're going to pull out red, yellow, green, and cyan wool to finish this off. So again, we're going to come to the first column on the left hand side, we're going to be placing red all the way up. Then we're going to be placing yellow. Then green. Then cyan. So there you go guys, that is the Instagram logo done. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for some awesome deals in the future, and don't forget to drop a like, so this helps me out, and please do drop some suggestions in the comment box below, telling me what you think I should do in next week's tutorial video, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye guys.